Yo, what is up you guys, it is Gnosis the God here. I hope you guys are all having a great day so far, and Battlefield 1 comes out pretty soon, so I wanted to talk about my opinion on the game. I've been playing Battlefield games for a pretty long time. I played Bad Company 1, I actually had the Game of the Year edition for it, a little bit of Bad Company 2 in Battlefield 3, a decent amount of Battlefield 4, and I didn't play the full hardline game, however I did play the beta. And I think that Battlefield's key thing is its environment destructibility and its large-scale battles. Honestly, when the first trailers for Battlefield 1 were released, I didn't really feel that interested in the game, but but after seeing more gameplay, I became more and more attracted to it. Something that I don't really understand is the focus on story. It seems like the developers really wanted to make a good story in the game, which isn't really necessarily a bad thing. I don't think that it should be the main focus of the game, though. Personally, I don't play Battlefield for the story, I played for the large scale multiplayer battles. Something that Battlefield is usually does really, really well is making the game really realistic. They use things like bullet drops, awesome sounds in the game, and destructibility of the environment which all makes this game seem really, really realistic. Another thing that I want to applaud DICE for is going back in time rather than into the future, which is what most games at the moment seem to be doing, like Call of Duty. World War I is obviously a super gritty war that we, do, that we do know a lot about, so it'd be really cool to see how DICE gets the game to feel historically accurate as well as realistic. Something else that I looked at uh, that seems pretty exciting to me personally is the gun upgrading and unlocking different versions of guns as you play more. I think something that's going to be interesting is to see if DICE is able to make this feel rewarding without making the newer weapons feel overpowered. So my final verdict I think is that the game is going to be good for anyone who really likes history around World War I or World War II in particular, uh, and obviously somebody who loves Battlefield games like all of them. Um, but unfortunately I'm not going to be picking this game up for myself at least yet because I just don't have enough time to invest in it and I really sink my teeth into the game, which is something that I'd li really like to do in the future. But that's going to wrap it up for my opinions on Battlefield 1, guys. Let me know what you guys think of Battlefield 1 in the comments below. Are you going to buy it? What other Battlefield games did you play? Let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed this kind of analytical Battlefield kind of video. And subscribe for more gaming videos like this. That's it. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, peace out. No dreams too big, chase anything, got the passion to do Only a dream till it happens to you Finally seeing money, now I'm acting a fool Never thought touring the world all year Be something I might actually do Friends came through, got me so high I forgot who I was passing it to Party in a mansion, splash in a pool Reminiscing 06 back in the school With my whole crew, come through and rap with us too Couple of them big goons packing a tool Go ahead and try and talk shit on me I squad up, came back with a crew